Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. Welcome to a new diamond painting vlog. In these videos, I basically talk about new upcoming releases for the coming weekend, and I take you guys through my diamond painting life, and if I get any new packages, we go over those, and that has that's been a consistent, that's been a consistent, but anyways, you guys, I hope everyone had a good Tuesday and Monday. Today is Tuesday, February 6th. I was gonna say January, and I'm like, mm, January's done. No, but it's Tuesday, Fe February 6th, and I hope everyone had a great weekend, um, and yeah, so today we are going to talk about some new releases um, from Diamond Art Club specifically. They are doing a Black History Month kind of release tomorrow. Um, so far we have three sneak peeks for that and I'm unsure if we're gonna get a fourth. That might happen closer to like six o'clock central time. It's currently 4.45. So we'll kind of see what happens there. But yeah, I'm gonna go over those three Diamond Art Club sneak peeks for you guys. I'm really excited about them. They're gorgeous, stunning pieces. And then I think we got one from Dreamer Designs earlier. Yeah, we definitely did. So let's get right on into, actually, you know, I have like a separate folder in my phone where I store all of the photos, but then half the time I forget to put the photos in there so it helps me. Um, but anyways, let's start out with the first Diamond Art Club sneak peek that we got today, which is Golden by Eau Claire Studio, available in a 20 by 29 inch or a 50.8 by 73.5 centimeter square drills with 45 colors, including two ABs, one iridescent, and two fairy dust. You guys, the rendering on this is incredible. This is gorgeous. This is arguably, I feel like, one of the best rendering jobs I've seen from Diamond Art Club, which is like, there's already a high bar, but like, I genuinely think this rendering is incredible. Um, I hope that everyone who wants this piece is able to get it because I genuinely think this will sell out really fast. I'll keep you guys posted, obviously, but um, yeah, this, this is kind of incredible. And I am wondering, let's see, there was one iridescent, right? Um, yeah, one iridescent. So I'm wondering if that iridescent maybe is like that gold color that's sprinkled all over her face. You know how stunning that would be if it's not what a missed opportunity, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning toward it is. I haven't seen any sneak peeks for these today, so I'm wondering if there aren't any or if they're just late in transit. Um, but yeah, that is the first sneak peek, and then we're going to switch gears to Dreamer Designs, and the first Dreamer Designs sneak peek is Pink Owl by Momart. Uh, this is a square drill canvas, 60 by 80 centimeter, uh, 74 colors with 8 ABs. I, you know, fun fact, when I was younger, I used to be, like, obsessed with owls. I don't even know what it was. I literally think it was, like, just, a uh, like, 20, like, late 2010s, so, like, between, like, 20. 13 to 2015 teen girl thing to be freaking obsessed with owls for no reason um but, but this is actually really really pretty I don't love owls as much anymore um but this is a really pretty owl I really like it I love the colors I love the pastel color palette on it it looks like a ton of color blocking in the background unless those are different shades of blue which I don't think it is I kind of think this might be like one shade of blue in the background which is nice for people who like to color block um, absolutely stunning piece. So that is the Dreamer Designs. And then moving on to the next Diamond Art Club, we have Goddess of Water by Roy, Roy Trin, um, I guess, or Roy the Art is like his, um, handle. I like art handle, um, available in a 23.6 by 35.4 inch or a 60 by 90 centimeter square drills with 52 colors, including five fairy dust and one iridescent. You guys, I almost said ABs just out of like, have it but I don't think this kid has any ABs I think it's just five fairy dust oh my goodness did I mess that up on the no I don't think I messed it up on the other one no that one had ABs no ABs in this kit you guys oh my god also can we just talk about how incredible this artwork is and the rendering oh my god oh my god you guys this is gonna be an incredible release and I'm so happy to see Diamond Art Club do a Black History Month release I'm hoping we get maybe one more honestly this month too because I just think it's obviously like the perfect time of year for it. And I just think this artwork is stunning. Oh my God, I, lo I love, I love, this is so pretty. And I bet you the color palette is probably so like gorgeous. Oh my God, 
that sky must be like so many different shades of colors oh my goodness so pretty and then moving on into the last sneak peek that i have so far we, we might get another i'm not too sure but the last sneak peek that we have is galactic mermaid by raw sushi available in a 22 by 29 inch or a 55.8 by 74 centimeter round drills with 36 colors including three avs and one fairy dust as I was filming the rest of this clip, um, I got a notification that Mrs. Coffee actually just posted the sneak peek for this. Um, so I spoke too soon about not seeing any of these sneak peeked, but I'll definitely have to watch her video. Another absolutely stunning, stunning piece. And I love it. The purple tones in this artwork so much. Oh my goodness. You know, like, I don't plan on picking any of these up um however like i think it's possible that one or two of these might end up on my wish list we'll kind of see if it um ends up being artwork that i really want to get but I, I do admit that this is all like incredible incredible artwork oh my goodness i love and i love mermaids i think I don't know, I just really, I really love it. I love it a lot. So you guys, those are the sneak peeks that we have so far today. Um, I'm very excited about this release and I'm sure you guys are as well. At least I hope you guys are as well. Um, but like I said, it's, well, it was 4.45 when I started filming and now it's getting closer to five. And I don't know yet if I wanna make dinner yet. I don't even know what I'm having to be honest. Like I have food, but do you guys just like have food and you just like don't want any of it? So like, I don't know. I've also been so tired all day. You guys, I <laughs> life has just been like a separate roller coaster, but I like love these vlogs and even though life may not be going great, I still wanted to like vlog and hang out with you guys, you know, cuz it makes it better. Um so anyways, you guys, I don't know what's going on tonight. I'll try to show you guys a progress update for sure on my canvas I'm working on, which is Beauty and Chaos by Tally Sketch and Muni Made. Gorgeous canvas. I'm loving how it's turning out so far. Um, but otherwise, I'll catch in with you guys a little bit later. Hi, friends. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, February 7th, and I hope everybody had a great Wednesday. So yesterday, Diamond Art Club showcased three different kits for Black History Month, um, and I thought maybe there'd be a fourth, but there was no fourth kit. So now it's Wednesday. Those kits released today, and I actually, I'm going to double check quick on the app, but I'm pretty sure that um, none of them sold out, which I'm going to be honest, I'm a little bit surprised. Um, I kind of expected at least one of them to sell out. Yeah, no, none of them did. I kind of expected Golden to sell out be just because of how stunning it is. But um, yeah, I hope everybody was able to get it, that you get the canvas they wanted. Um, but today we have three more sneak peeks to talk about, one from Dreamer Designs and two from Diamond Art Club. So let's get right on into the Dreamer Designs. Uh, we have Spring Blooms on the Lake by Marie August Anderson, square drills and 80 by 60 centimeter, 68 colors with eight ABs. That's so many ABs. Every time I read off a kit from Dreamer Designs, they always never fail to surprise me with the number of ABs in their in their kits just incredible this is a gorgeous landscape um I think I said this a few weeks ago I'm slowly trying to become pickier with my landscapes because I have so many of them so I don't think I will be picking this one up or putting it on the wish list or anything like that however I do think this is really stunning I feel like I tend to be a little bit more picky with dreamer designs landscapes anyways in general I tend to be a little pickier with dreamer designs than I do diamond art club I don't know if it's because of the rendering style I prefer diamond art club's rendering for sure um <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry my throat is just like something else but um nothing to say like I really love I think this is great rendering and everything um I think there are definitely two different kinds of rendering with you know dreamer designs and diamond art club yeah like this is a really stunning piece for sure but I don't think I will be picking this one up anytime soon but really stunning next up we have diamond art club and actually before I get to the diamond art club sneak peek um, earlier today, Diamond Art Club posted a new cover photo in their, like, normal Diamond Art Club Facebook page, and it looks like a really stunning piece, and I have a feeling we'll get the sneak peek for that either tomorrow or Friday, because it is going to come out on Saturday, but we'll talk about it when, when that comes, but it is really stunning, um, so I might be in trouble this week, but, um, the next kit we have is A Goddess in Her Tiger by Eau Claire Studio, available in a 22 by 33 inch, or a 55.8 by 83.7 centimeter, 
square drills with 78 colors including three ABs and three fairy dust. Ocular Studio lately we've been getting so many kits from them and do you guys remember like a month ago when we were getting all of the Zodiac girls and then we are still missing like two <laughs> Diamond Art Club when are you coming out with the other two because like there was one of them that I did really want um maybe we'll get it this week maybe I'm manifesting it am I manifesting it bring us the other two girls from Ocular Studio Zodiac I really want it it's like purplish very pretty at least I think it's purple I'm like 95% sure it's purple I don't think it's blue but now I'm questioning everything but anyways back to this kit very stunning artwork um another one that's like not 100% my cup of tea but that is a-okay I am trying to be a little pickier here um she is really stunning though and the tiger is great this is incredible rendering I feel like Diamond Art Club just gets better and better with the rendering in each new kit um so this is this is incredible and yeah, lots of special drills, a lot of colors. This will be a good one. And then the last sneak peek we got today is You Are My Sunshine by Diane Ong, available in a 22 by 29 inch or a 55.8 by 74 centimeter. Round drills with 53 colors, including two ABs, one iridescent, and one fairy dust. Um, I know we got, <clears throat> excuse me, I know we got a kit from Diane Ong. I'm, I keep wanting to say Diane, so I have to say it really slowly to not say Diane. Diane Ong, um, a couple 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 my brain last week we got a kit from them last week and um I don't know if it sold out I don't think it did was it last week now I'm losing track of the weeks but I'm pretty sure it was last week yeah because it was the it was the the lesbian lions that's what it was um not what it's actually called in case anyone was wondering but um this is super duper cute though I feel like a lot of people are really gonna like this kit and I feel like this is actually a perfect round rendering to be honest like it's not too much detail it's kind of like more abstracty colors so I think this is just gonna be a really beautiful kit um but anyways you guys that is it for all of the sneak peeks that we have so far today it is almost 5 30 yeah I need new glasses you guys like I oh, I need to go to the eye doctor so bad because I'm looking like this way at my clock that's on my microwave I swear I used to be able to see that far without needing to like squint my eyes like to see it we're getting to a point that I think my prescription is changing and yeah uh, it's okay <laughs> anyways you guys um it's almost 5 30 I think I'm gonna hop in the shower in a minute, honestly, because it's just more comfortable being in my pajamas, if I'm being so honest. Um, and then I'm thinking tonight is a good night to try to finish my audiobook. I'm currently listening to The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. She wrote The Nanny. Um, also, also by Lana Ferguson, of course, I just said she also wrote it. Um, and this book is vastly different than The Nanny. Um, <laughs> the nanny was very spicy and I, I don't mind I, I like a good spicy book right um this book this book however is very very spicy as well or arguably more spicy and we got the added element of it's like werewolf smut basically is like what this book is and I'm just like listening to it on audio while I'm diamond painting and I'm like oh dear lord <laughs> um, I I don't know 100% yet like what rating I'm gonna give it I'm getting close to 70% through the book um, but it's like one of those things where I'm like yo yo we're like we're werewolf I don't know like this is probably totally like normal if you read a lot of werewolves werewolf like romances and things like that but like I have simply never read one before I've never even read Twilight in case anyone's wondering granted that's like probably probably very clean in comparison because that's like a young adult book but like anyway so if you guys are interested if that sounds intriguing I, I recommend it right like I think it's good <laughs> anyways you guys this has been a long clip for no reason this vlog is gonna be so chatty but honestly do you guys enjoy the chatty vlogs or I feel like you guys probably wouldn't be watching if you didn't enjoy the chatty vlogs so I, I hope you guys are enjoying like things outside of like diamond painting as well just like random things that's going things that are going on in my life but yeah, anyways I think I'm gonna hop in the shower and uh I need to show you guys my canvas I will try to show you guys my canvas later hi friends happy Thursday it is Thursday February 8th I am 
so sorry I never showed you guys my um my diamond painting yesterday but I promise after this clip I will do it because I'm finally in the room that it's in with the camera so anyways you guys hi happy Thursday I hope everyone has had a great day so far mine was good I just feel like it was one big blur so there's that I feel like I've been so tired all day but anyways to start out this clip I actually want to show you guys my diamond art club order I got my diamond art club order in the mail today from the new releases this weekend so the first kit I ended up picking up is the mystery kit nostalgia 50s this is kind of just like what the mystery kits look like um, at the front of the box because you're not really supposed to know obviously like what the image is until you do it um, I was talking about this a little bit in um, my last diamond paint chat video but I am in like a Facebook group where they try to figure out the images like basically it's like a group of spoilers like don't join if you don't want spoilers but um I don't think for me personally it's smart to buy a kit without knowing like what the artwork is going to be um and instantly when I saw the artwork I knew I needed it because um basically like the imagery itself reminds me of my grandfather so I talk about that more in my last video if you're interested but yeah that's the story on that and then I also ordered Little Lizard Garden by Rose Catherine Kahn oh my god you guys this artwork is something else it's so stunning and it just like has so many beautiful elements in it and i think i'm really gonna like the greens in the kit i'm a big fan of like kind of like minty greens greens in general like lighter brighter greens so i think that's gonna be a really beautiful kit to work on but yeah that's my small diamond art club haul and now let's get right into the sneak peeks for today and we start out with Diamond Art Club, and this is exactly the the kit I was telling you guys about um, yesterday that was like Diamond Art Club's cover photo, and it is Magical Potions by Nathaniel Mortensen, available in a 39 by 27.6 inch or a 99 by 70 centimeter square drills with 91 colors, including four ABs and four fairy dust this kit I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this weekend I think it's stunning and I think I told you guys I don't actually know if I told you guys um I must have made my first diamond art club order a year ago yesterday because I got a 20% off coupon in my email so this weekend I will definitely be utilizing it part of me is like oh wait like a little bit longer just to see if any of the black friday restocks come in but also, I don't want to miss out on anything because I have really bad FOMO, so I'm probably just going to order with the 20% off coupon um, and figure it out if we do get restocks this week. But anyways, this kit is stunning, and I like, I just love, and this is just not a kit I feel like I would normally find myself drawn toward, but I hope someone posts a sneak peek of this um, tomorrow so I can definitely get like a better look at it. But I just feel like this is going to be so gorgeous, so I feel like I need it. But <laughs> this is the first sneak peek that we have. And then we move into Dreamer Designs, and we have Into the Deep of Me by Spirit of the Rainbow uh, Square Drill Kit in a 60 by 90 centimeter, 66 colors with 9 ABs. Okay, you guys, I think, <laughs> I think this is a kit again with AI. And listen, I, I know that Diamond Art Club does use AI and like, or have artists with AI in some of their work, but I feel like not to the extreme that dreamer designs does i feel like at least half like of the new releases i talked about over the last like you know a couple months i've been doing this series have had ai art featured and like again i'm very mixed on it because i've talked about it before and i bought kits um that have ai like elements using ai to help their images i don't know i just I don't know I just feel like a lot of their kits lately have been AI so I don't know <laughs> that's, that's that on that but anyways this piece is, is gorgeous I don't I'm not gonna pick it up but I do think it's gorgeous and I also think there's a crap ton of confetti um I feel like a lot of like underwater sceneries tend to have a lot of confetti so it doesn't super surprise me but it's very pretty regardless and then going back to Diamond Art Club we have Glacial Lake by Dennis Dundon uh, available in a 22 by 28 inch or a 55.8 by 70.7 centimeter square drills with 42 colors including two ABs and one fairy dust. This is such like a serene landscape and I feel like number one it's not too big at all. This is a 22 by 28 inch. It's the same size as like moon girlfriend right granted this is in squares and that one's in rounds so like a different drill count but it's just like so 
like serene and just like calming this feels like a very calming piece and i feel like a lot of people are gonna love it especially because of the the size point i feel like bigger landscapes do tend to turn people off which is fair not the bigger the better for everybody the bigger the better for me personally when it comes to diamond paintings but not for everybody for sure it's a really stunning piece though i'm excited to see a sneak peek of it if that gets posted tomorrow but that is that piece and then last but not least we have magic house by the river by image world um available in a 38.6 by 27.6 inch or a 98 by 70 centimeter square drills with 51 colors including five ab's and two fairy dust y'all know how i feel about my image world landscapes this one doesn't call out to me as much as the other ones have um i do really like it though i definitely don't think it's like a must however i do think this one will go on my wish list for sure i just love the colors image world landscapes never fail to have like gorgeous gorgeous color schemes and like so many bright colors and i feel like it just like mixes well with like having browns and buildings and things like that i just think it's really really stunning so i think that one will go on the wish list for sure but anyways you guys that is it for all of the sneak peeks that we have today i'm excited to see what's gonna happen tomorrow i mean we've had some pretty good sneak peeks so far so i can only imagine like fridays i feel like are when they release like the best of the best so i'm like oh what is it gonna be but anyways you guys um let me flip the camera around and show you guys the beauty and chaos little update okay so the entirety of the first row is complete and just look at this like shine and sparkle um there are some ab's laced throughout like the keyboard here and that's like the only place i have placed ab's so far but i'm currently working on this section right here i did a little bit yesterday um fun fact i actually started i can't even get this back on here properly hopefully that's fine i actually started um the melissa joan hart memoir last night and started that section um and then i looked at goodreads and saw it in so many shitty reviews but hopefully it's fine um but anyways yeah that is the update on beauty and chaos hi friends happy friday it is friday february 9th thank god it's friday i'm so happy um i'm so ready for the weekend i'm so ready to sleep in and just kind of relax but happy friday i've been a bum since i got off work at 12 i um ended up diamond painting for like an hour and a half and i listened to a true crime podcast um one of my absolute favorite true crime podcasts is rotten mango it's super duper good and i like listened to a bunch of them a couple years ago but i decided to start from the beginning like a little bit ago i don't know i'm like slowly working my way through her backlog of stories and they're all very interesting so i highly recommend that true crime podcast if you've never listened to it before but anyways you guys we are here because we have four new sneak peeks to end off the week and then i'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here because i actually tonight am going to see a hockey game with one of my friends she is picking me up in an hour and a half so have to somehow <laughs> get the rest of this video edited which shouldn't take long i edited today too and um and schedule the upload for tomorrow but anyways you guys let's get right into the first sneak peek from diamond art club and we have mother and child by rosie scribbles available in a 27.6 by 34.6 inch or a 70 by 88 centimeter square drills with 89 colors including three ab's and three fairy dust you guys listen so i love i love rosie scribbles so so much this is a piece of art i won't be getting i can appreciate it for sure i i'm probably gonna sound so mean i don't like love having children in my diamond paintings personally but i definitely think this piece is stunning and i think people who really like mermaids people who like um i guess just like maybe have like a, a mother child connection with this piece i think this is perfect i think the rendering is amazing um overall like i think it's gorgeous gorgeous artwork don't take what i'm saying as like offense or anything just because i don't think i'm gonna pick up this piece um but it is really pretty and i'm sure there's gonna be rosie scribbles artwork in the future that i'm gonna need so it's totally okay that one isn't it's adorable and i feel like it's probably gonna be very special for a lot of people so that is the first sneak peek and then we move into dreamer designs we have starlight star bright by jody bergsa this is a round drill kit with in a 40 by 60 centimeter 45 colors with two ab's and one crystal isn't that like the starlight star bright okay isn't that like wasn't that a commercial back in the day i'm just like trying to think and that jingle kind of is like in my head what are those 
Like, I can, like, imagine star, night, star, bright, whatever. I don't know. I fuck. I have no idea. Um, let me know in the comments if, I, if you guys know what I'm referring to. It was, like, those light brights weren't, wasn't it? I don't know. Anyways, it's super duper cute. I love the little, I think, I think these are otters, right? I think it's super duper cute. You know, I find it very interesting how Dreamer Designs chooses, like, in regards to, like, their sizing. I feel like this could have benefited from being a little bigger because it looks like, I mean, it's good rendering, but it looks a little pixelated, but I don't know. I, I don't know. It just, it just looks that way to me, but that's, that's okay. I'm, I will not be picking this piece up personally, but I do think a lot of people are going to like it. You guys, I feel like when I'm going through all of these different pieces, like I'm, there are going to be obvious ones that I don't want and obvious ones that I do want. And I feel like I'm so negative if I mention like, I'm not going to get it, but like, this is just all my opinion. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. No one has said anything. Like, I'm just saying that, like, I don't know. I just want to make it clear that I'm not trying to offend anybody by, like, not liking a certain piece of artwork. Um, I like the artwork. I really do. I just, this isn't for me. But it's very, very cute. And we get a crystal, which is always fun. We always love a good crystal, so. And only two ABs. Wasn't I just saying that um, and Dreamer Designs are full of ABs? I guess not this one. Um, but moving right along to the next one from Diamond Art Club, we have Storytime Cats in Books by Ashwood Arts, or Bridget Ashwood, available in a 25.6 by 25.6 inch or a 65 by 65 centimeter, square drills with 67 colors, including two ABs, one electro, and two fairy dust. This is super duper duper cute. Um, if I liked cats, like, a little bit more, this is definitely one that I would consider um I do like cats I do like cats I don't tend to gravitate towards cat only kits um like you know like this kind of thing with like just strictly cats unless it's like something I really 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 want um but this one is really cute uh, I feel like there probably are a lot of dark colors in this kit um just by the looks of it so like a little bit of a darker toned piece if you will but I, I do think it's really, really cute, and I love all the cats in it. I can definitely appreciate the artwork on this one. And then last but not least, from Diamond Art Club, we are ending off the weekend of releases with Night Sky Tree of Life by Pelly Collins. By Peggy Collins, I can't talk. Available in a 27.6 by 27.6 inch or a 70 by 70 centimeter. Square drills with 53 colors, including two ABs and four fairy dust. I feel like Peggy Collins has just become like a Diamond Art Club like kind of staple artist, to be honest. I feel like her work has just been loved by so many people. Um, and this piece of art is no exception. It's stunning and it looks like... It, it's interesting. I'm trying to figure out if this looks like a lot of confetti. And you know what? I think it does. I was going to say there probably are some spots of color blocking, but it, I don't think it's as many as maybe what I initially thought. At first, I thought the background was like kind of fully black around the edges, but that's not the case. But I don't know. I feel like if you like Peggy Collins, this is going to be a piece of art that you really, really like. But anyways, you guys, I feel like this video has just been so rambly, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you're able to get any pieces that you saw that you want. Um, I am leaning toward that magic potion piece. That was really, really stunning. And um, I'll see what else I end up with tomorrow. Um, we, we will see. I'll keep you guys posted next week, of course. But thank you guys so much for watching this vlog today. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.